Are you a content creator looking for effects to improve your videos in 2021? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create this really cool double vision effect, or you can call this like a intoxicated effect, a drunk vision effect, how you wanna call this. It's a really nice effect that you can implement into, for example, a short movie or something similar like that. So if you guys are excited about this effect that I never showed you guys before, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching, and I would say, let's go on and start creating this really nice double vision effect right after the intro. All right, guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18. So this is just a clip that I shot with my GH5 from the guitars on the wall. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're going to create this really nice double vision effect with these guitars where you can actually see almost like that there are two of them each. So right here, we have just the track right here. Then what we want to do is we want to right click and we want to duplicate our track. So then what we need to do is we need to lower the opacity just a little bit. I would say lower this one about halfway. So let's go and put this one for example at like 50% and then we're going to go to the event pan crop icon right here and then we're going to zoom in just a little bit and then what we're going to do is we are going to also make it move a little bit as you can see so right here when I'm playing back I'm actually moving quite slow so I'm moving quite slow as you can see right here and that's the reason why this effect looks really really nice but the thing is that this guitar is actually looking really cool that you can also place it for example on a different place so let's say you want to have the guitar in this way where you have it like that underneath it or you can have it on the bottom right or on the top right or on the top left or the bottom left so i would actually suggest to place it for example like this and also just make it a little bit smaller so we have a really really nice effect so now what i would also do is i would actually make this float a little bit so right now we're going to just move up our marker just a little bit so then i'm going to move up my keyframe for example to here and then i'm going to also just duplicate this track just a little bit then i'm going to move up my keyframe again place it for example onto the opposite side and maybe just a little bit smaller for example that's also possible or you can even make it bigger if you want to you can really really mess with like this resolution and the size of these guitars or so basically anything if you're walking down the stairs for example and you're holding the rails you can just really really make this come to life with lowering the opacity and zooming in a little bit and then just changing the position and make it like float so right now i'm going to position it just like that i'm going to move up my keyframe just a little bit more and then i'm going to place it to the opposite side just like that and then we're going to move up the keyframe frame further place it for example like that then we're going to move up a keyframe you guys know how it works and then if we keep on doing this until the timeline is filled right now as you can see this is looking really really tight so now if i go do the last one right here make it a little bit closer to the guitar like that this is what it looks like So as you can notice, it looks really, really nice and actually look quite blurry, like if you would be drunk, intoxicated, or just have this like this double vision. It's a really nice effect, like I said, for your short movies, your documentaries, for whatever kind of reason you would need this effect. It's really, really nice. You can apply this onto any kind of footage that you have, no matter what it is. If you're, for example, walking in this third person, you know, clip, where you have, for example, your hands reaching for somewhere, they can really make the screen like move from the left to the side. So let's say I'm gonna go back for a second right here. You can also make it smaller. You can make it a lot bigger for example i would just keep it like pretty close to what the original size is and just to make it move you can change up the keyframes if you want to have it move faster you can make a lot more keyframes for example like this one so if you put a keyframe in between each clip that's a really really nice trick that you can go ahead and place it just like that and make it like move a lot faster it's a quite quite nice effect it doesn't really take long to do just a couple minutes that's why this video is also just relatively short just to show you how it's done that you don't need for example 15 or 20 minutes to achieve this and if you want to make it more visible you can also bring up this opacity right here up 
or down just like that for example if you want to have it just in a little lighter way if you want to have it in a heavier way you can just do it like that this is what it looks like it looks really really nice and that's how you can create this really cool double vision effect in vegas pro 18. all right guys so that's it for this video this is how you create this nice double vision effect in vegas pro 18. if you enjoyed this video feel free to reward it with a like down below also subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching thanks a lot for your continued support guys make sure to check out production crate also for your really really cool vfx assets for your videos so that's all i have for you guys today and i'll see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video